Okay, today we have a different video. I'm going to show you how to lubricate one of these fan motors. See it as the fan, kind of looks like a jet engine, except the air blows out from the front instead of being sucked in. Alright, so this fan's been modified. You can see there's a single screw on the bottom here holding in the grill. So what you do here, or what I'm doing is I'm squeezing the fan and the grill is just popping right off. Normally the stock fan, you can't do that. Uh, in this case, what I've done is I've chopped off these clips on the side, chopped three of them off, and that allowed me to squeeze the body of the fan, popping the grill off. All right, now to get the blade off, you just grab it and pull it forward, and it's just held in by friction. You can see a little clip there, squeezing the plastic onto the motor shaft. This knob here is also friction held, so just grab it and pull it right off. You can see on the bottom there's this beauty cover. It's held in by two Phillips screws. It's holding that cover and the switch in place. So just remove those two screws. Alright, now I want you to take your phone and just take some notes on where those wires are coming from. Uh, we're gonna remove them from that switch and when we put everything back together, we want to put them back where they were. Okay, so here we're gonna remove the wires from the switch. This step is a little tricky. Um, the wires are being held with a metal spring. So I'm just sticking something in there. In this case, it's a flathead I'm using. And I'm just pushing down on the spring and that releases the wire. As you can see, with a little bit of wiggling, the wire should just come right out. Just like that. And just do the same for the rest. You can see I'm just loosening everything, uh, so then the wires won't tug on anything when we're pulling out the motor. You can see that plastic piece is also in the way. There's a piece of wire in there. So I went in from the other side to push it out. I'm just unscrewing these two Phillips screws in the front that's holding the front bracket and the one behind it. Here I've taken a paper towel and I've just twisted it. Uh, we're just gonna stick that through the brass bearing there. Just clean, just clean the inside of that by just rotating the paper towel. You can use alcohol if you like. The brackets might be held in tight, so just take a flathead screwdriver and just pry it off. Be careful not to ram the screwdriver into the coils because that would be pretty disastrous. Also, try not to lose any of these washers, and uh, there's also a felt pad there that we need to soak with lubricant. That just keeps the whole shaft of the motor nice and smooth. I believe that green thing there, that's the magnet and the coils are around it. So I'm taking that out so I can clean it. Just wiping it clean. All right, so this is the oil I'm using. You shouldn't use it. <laughs> uh, it's a little too thin. All right, I'm placing the felt back on. I'm just gonna let it soak up some of the lube there. 
There we go. It doesn't doesn't take much. And now there's a brass sleeve there, right? Uh, what I don't understand, but I'm still going to do it anyways, is um, in that chamber between the bracket and the brass bearing, there's also felt inside those uh, tiny holes there. So I don't really know how that's lubricating the shaft, but I decided to pour some, some lubricant in there. And after you do that, it's just a matter of placing everything back and uh, putting it all together again. Okay, so I put way too much loop there. Uh, so what I did was I took a Q-tip and I just poked at the shaft a little to absorb some of the excess lubricant. So what you torque all the screws down, the shaft might not spin freely. So what you do is you grab the shaft and you just wiggle it. See, I'm just grabbing the shaft and I'm just moving it around a little. And you might not be able to see it in the video because that shaft is very smooth, but that thing is spinning freely.
Alright, once through, we need now we need to screw the motor back onto its housing, onto the fan housing. You can see it's a little tricky. I dropped that screw a few times. Uh, so what I decided to do was hold that screw in place with a finger and then move the motor and wiggle it like into place until I could feel the screw catching onto uh, where it's supposed to go. And once you got that down, you can now tighten it. Okay, you can see I took my phone out so I can look at the pictures that we took earlier. We're just gonna wire this back in the same order that we took them out. And all you do is just take the wire and just push it, push it into the switch there. And those clips will bite, bite into the wire, preventing them from being yanked out. You can see that on this side here, this left side, it was a little difficult pushing the wires back in. Uh, so if I if I was to do this again, I would use a screwdriver to push the clip out of the way so I can insert the wire. All right, everything is setting in there nicely. It's just a matter of putting that cover back on and screwing it into place so it doesn't fall back out. And those screws are also holding the switch, remember that. They don't need to be too tight. You don't want to break the plastic on the switch. And now take your power knob Push it back in. There's the cable. I'll have to plug it back in. Just pop that fan back on. 
And as you can see, it spins nice and free and it turns right on. So that's the end of the video. I don't actually have any more clips. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope the video helped. I'm not gonna make a reveal of the fan because the fan is pretty basic. It's not even a good fan. But that's how you lubricate one of these motors. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.